Hey guys, we're back at it again in another unpredictable Melbourne weather. Just sitting at my my pressure washer, uh, the HD. What is it? HD 600, I believe it is. Uh, professional series pressure washer. So yeah, what we're going to be doing today is engine bay cleaning, as you probably saw from the previous video. That's yeah, it's definitely filthy. Uh, and I believe the paint coat is here as well. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I've got. Yeah, so I've got my eldest and he's to go to the toilet. Alexa, say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you can go to the toilet. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, as per usual, we're going to protect all the electrical components. So I'll don't go too heavy with the with the pressure washing uh, or the the cleaning. I mean, it's not too bad. It's mainly just dust. Uh, but yeah, these are the main areas that and the oil. I'll be using a degreaser or an all-purpose cleaner uh, to start off with. And yeah, with a yeah with um we say like a, a chemical resistant brush. Uh, so what we'll be doing is definitely, you know, all-purpose cleaner, getting in there with chemical resistant brush and so forth and scrubbing it all down. <sighs> yeah, the only concerns that I'm worried about is electrical components, like, that's not too bad, but stuff like that, definitely, whatever that is, I'm not too sure with the BMWs. <laughs> but, um, any really, anything really with um, wires hooked up to it, I'll definitely be careful of. Who knows, I mean, worst case scenario, if it doesn't start, then get out the blower and start blowing air into it, trying to dry it out. Uh, but that's sort of the worst case scenario. But we definitely want to get up all this dirt cleaned up out of there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see right in there, but it's it's pretty filthy. It's, there's a lot of grease and oil build up that we want to get rid of. Uh, as we were saying before, is the paint code here or is it somewhere else? No, I think it's just the, the VIN number. No actual, I'm not too sure where the paint coat is as yet guys, but when I find it I'll definitely let you guys know. There's a build date, so it's oh, October 1994. Uh, so that's interesting because I thought it was 95, but either way it doesn't matter. Cool, just helps with uh, buying service parts later in the future I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'll get to start on this guys and um, yeah, hopefully I can record some of it for you guys to see the yeah, how we get around it. mentioned uh, in the previous video uh, I believe it's important I mean you don't have to do this step but I reckon it's important to try and uh, with any type of brush uh, something that's not too coarse obviously to scratch it or damage it but try and get rid of most of the dust uh, just with brushing it away because it'll help out I mean when water mixes or with chemical mixes with it uh, it's obviously going to turn into a mud or a sludge but you can get rid of most of the dust uh, I mean look that's heaps I'm not sure if you guys can see that but you can get rid of most of that dust just by blushing it away It'll save you a lot of headaches later down the track. So yeah, after I brush it all away, we'll yeah we'll, we'll start hitting it probably with a light rinse, uh, a bit of degrees and chemical resistant brush, and we'll uh, get into it, see how much more we can clean it up, and hopefully this can we can get this back to its, uh, its original state or its original colour. But yeah, as you can see, a lot of this is just dust, just crap has been sitting there. Very, very long time. So I forgot to show you, but yeah, this is after a dry or a dry clean, what we consider with the dry brush. And also <coughs> a quick rinse down with the hose. Uh, as you can see, areas are starting to look a bit cleaner. Uh, I mean, there's still a little bit of built up of grease, which should be fine. I mean, once we get in with the, with the degreaser. But yeah, I mean, everything's starting to look a bit more cleaner. I mean, I know it's still a bit more wet, but. It's looking a bit cleaner. I mean, I think that the grease is really going to help out, but we'll get there. Uh, the dry cleaning really did help out. It stopped the, everything from turning into mud. Uh, Alright guys, so we're starting at the front. Just a bit of a... Uh, just a bit of degrees, all-purpose cleaner. Uh, dilute it to... Or you can buy it in the spray can, whatever's easier for you guys. Dilute it to its recommended specifications, which this one is 1 to 10. Uh, just sort of... Miss the area down. And what you do, we'll put that aside. Get yourself your chemical brush. And just get right into all the nooks and crannies, all the grooves, guys. I mean, it's going to foam up a little bit. What it does, it actually breaks down a lot of the dirt. Uh, I like to do that in sections. 
Uh, so we're starting off at the front of the car, which is probably not the best side to use, but just sort of start off with the front, it's a little bit easier to record. Uh, soon we're going to go into the, obviously the engine bay, where all the, all the oil and grease is. But yeah, as you can see, you get right in there guys, like, just follow the lines of everything. Um, around all the bolts and so forth. If you dilute it down to its recommended specifications, there's nothing too damaging to be worried about. Uh, I mean, some chemicals, if you use them straight, they can cause a little bit of damage to your vehicle. So, I recommend you use the chemicals the way they've been intended to. They might not be as strong as using them straight, but I reckon they work a lot better when you use them as recommended. And a little bit of agitation with a brush goes a very long way. Hey guys, after a couple of hours of uh, super cleaning this engine bay, um, we used a whole heap of degreaser, a whole heap of uh, scrubbing. Uh, to be honest with you, it's time. Wow, okay, so it's taken us about two and a half hours. But as you can see, it's a dramatic difference. Uh, there's still a little bit of grease marks, like in areas that we couldn't really get into, like right in there. But other than that, it's kind of like pretty much brand new engine. I mean, there's a lot of paint. Um, that's come off here I guess because of the heat and so forth but definitely have a look around if that's easy enough to get off I wouldn't mind removing that uh, and then maybe just painting it in like a let's see if I'll do that I'm gonna have to get all the way down here we'll see how hard it is I mean if it's not too hard then we'll do it uh, yeah painting it in like a heat resistant paint and then probably even coating it with a heat resistant coating uh, but as you can see it's come up million dollars compared to what it was before uh, it's still a little bit wet so we'll come back to it after we've dried it uh, just a quick test I just want to see if it actually turns on I mean uh, we did try and protect a lot of the areas I mean the water still did get into some of the electronic areas that I didn't want to but you know such as life obviously protected a bit more than what I could uh, but yeah let's just see if it turns on Fingers crossed, eh? Oh, look at that. No warning lights, seems to be running smoothly uh, for a cold start. That's not too bad at all. Uh, I guess the heat from the engine might warm it up, uh, but yeah. Well, we'll come back once we've uh, once it's dried up. So I've had it running for about half an hour or so, and a lot of it's dried up. Uh, but as you can see, uh, it's looking a lot more nicer than what it did uh, a few hours ago. But yeah, so that's it. That's how you do the engine bay detail. Uh, I might just shine it up with a bit of a. Uh, what you call it, tire shine or whatever you you fancy as a silicon dressing, uh, which will make it look a hundred times better. But at the moment, it's looking a lot cleaner than what it was when we first picked it up.